Thank you so much, uh, Chairwoman Bush, and to all of our witnesses for being here today. Um, but I just have to underscore how grateful we are, we are for Representative Bush's leadership uh, and determination in securing such a historic and unprecedented hearing, uh, not just for this committee, but for the country. So thank you. We know that private insurance is the primary health coverage for two thirds of Americans, with the majority of private insurance being employer sponsored. But what I think most people in the US, most working class people need to contend with is the fact that money is that the money employers spend on health benefits and particularly for profit private health insurance comes from the money that they would have otherwise spent on our wages. Dr. Collins, in 2020, the standard company provided health insurance policy totaled over about $7,000 a year for single coverage and over $21,000 a year for family coverage. Is that correct? Yes. And with employer sponsored insurance, your employer pays a large portion and, you're, and you pay a smaller portion, correct? Yes. So in the case of individual coverage, if the total cost is around $7,400 and your employer pays, say, $6,200 and then you pay for around $1,200, now that's thousands of dollars more that everyday people could be saving per year if it weren't going directly to insurance companies' uh, private profits, correct? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> so one of the things that we're really seeing here is that the potential to moving to a Medicare for all system could actually give people a raise in many circumstances. Now, a common rebuttal to that and a common rebuttal to Medicare for all that you'll hear from conservatives and the right is that we would merely just change the way in which that same premium is charged and that those same dollars would come at that that are coming out of our paychecks now will then just be coming out in the form of taxes. But the truth is that Medicare for All actually lowers the overall cost of health care as well. Dr. Collins, isn't it true that Medicare for All would also reduce the average total costs for lower and middle income families by eliminating more medical expenses than they would pay in taxes? Depending on how and how um, how it was it was structured, um, it is there is there is that possibility, um, particularly in terms of getting provider prices down, which drive these costs um, in, that people are paying. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it you don't even have to take just our word for it. In fact, that conclusion has been confirmed via thorough research by the Center for a Responsible Federal Budget. We also know that Medicare for all is much cheaper than private insurance. Dr. Collins, public options like Medicare actually pay hospitals and service providers less than private insurance companies have to for the same service. So a single payer public option would drive down costs additionally through its ability to negotiate on health services and drug prices. Isn't that right? That's very true. And in fact, I think the evidence for that uh, isn't just theoretical, it isn't just calculated by, uh, by think tanks, but we see it in everyday life. Another case in point right here is comes from my district. Almost everywhere in the world, health outcomes are correlated with a person's income. But one of the only places in the world that that doesn't apply is in Queens. One of the handful of zip codes where your income does not determine the quality of healthcare that you have. And the reason for that is our crown jewel of a public hospital, Elmhurst Hospital in Queens. Years ago, we as a community made a commitment that we would never turn anybody away based on their health insurance status, their documentation status, their housing, or their income. Every single person who enters Elmhurst Hospital gets treated regardless of their ability to afford care. And what we have found is that it's more affordable to treat everybody, it's possible to treat everybody, and people can get higher quality care than they ever could under our current privatized for-profit system. And with that, I yield back to the chairwoman. Thank you very much.